Hello, Print Fam, and welcome back to another episode. Today, we're talking about DTG versus white toner. So, let's jump right into it. The first thing that I will cover, ooh, that I will cover, is initial cost. White toner has a lot of different options for the commercial machines, and really, there's only really two options: Uninet or Oki. I personally would choose Unidet. If you want to buy one, I'll link it down in the description. Unidet is what I bought. The entry price for the white toner printer is about $4,000. You do need to have a good heat press, so that can cost you another thousand or two. So you're looking about $5,000 all in for white toner entry level. Now for DTG, you're about $13,000 plus you have to get a heat press plus it is recommended to get a pre-treat machine so by the time you're into a decent DTG setup one that's not just like a Chinese printer or a printer that was converted from a home-based printer if you're looking at an actual commercial product you're looking between 15 and $20,000 for the DTG setup. The second big difference between white toner and DTG are the steps that you have to do. They both require multiple steps, but DTG has more. So with a Uninet or white toner printer, you print the transfer sheet, you marry the transfer sheet to the B sheet, and then you can apply the sheet, you peel it, and then final press it. So print, marry, apply, peel, second application. Now the marrying process takes two minutes. The two presses take a minute. So you're three minutes there. And then you do have downtime between because you have to let it cool before you peel it. So you have a few minutes there. And then the printing can take a few minutes. So all in your five minutes of actual work plus the um, wait time to let it cool. Now I'm not gonna include artwork because they both have that, but with a DTG, you have to pre-press the garment, then you need to pre-treat the garment, you need to press the garment again, you need to print the garment, then you need to press the garment again. So overall, it also has five steps, but those five steps take a lot longer because you press the shirt 15, 30 seconds. You pre-treat the shirt, which takes a couple of minutes. You press the shirt again. You print the shirt, which takes two to three minutes or longer, depending on the design. Then you press the shirt again. So the steps, them the steps themselves take longer and you, once you print the shirt, if you touch it or bend it or do anything, then it's going to ruin the print. Versus if you do happen to bend it and the transfer doesn't come off or doesn't press right, you can just press it again to get that transfer back down on the shirt and peel it off. So the steps for DTG take longer than white toner, but they, they both have a significant number of steps. Now the win that I will give for DTG is the feel. The feel of DTG, I personally believe is better. It feels more natural. It feels like what a shirt garment should feel like with a, a print on it. It is more breathable. It has better washability if you're doing big solid objects. Now if you're not doing solid, then you can still get a good washability from DT or from white toner but the feel can sometimes be papery or plasticky, and especially if you're doing like a big photo, then it can feel really weird and really not natural. And it's just not a good feel for big things. Now, if you're doing small things, I think white toner is great. And you can actually then shine above DTG anymore or even more because you can produce a lot more smaller things like left chest, sleeves, tags, yokes, things like that. That's where the white toner 
can blow the DTG out of the water because of how quick you can do multiple smaller projects. And then you can even get into getting multiple heat presses and it exponentially grows. You can have multiple heat presses with DTG, but it's less easy to grow without having multiple DTG printers. So that's kind of my two cents of what's different between white toner and DTG. Again, a quick recap. White toner is cheaper to get into. You can buy more expensive machines. DTG has more maintenance because you can't leave a DTG and expect it to run in a month versus you can with white toner. Um, and then the steps just take longer with the DTG. The one win, like I said, that I will give to DTG is I do believe for big solid objects, the feel is nicer. So that's my two cents. If you have any questions or disagree with me, leave it down in the comments. Thank you, Cam, for editing the video. Really appreciate you. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so with the links down in the description. Patreon, Amazon affiliate, custom orders, etc. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. And we'll see you in the next video, print fam. Huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash TTMS.